Hey everyone, this is Squall Snake, and I am here today with something very special, something that I've wanted to talk about and make a video about for a very long time. And today I have finally in my possession a Taito DS paddle controller after scouring eBay for many months and overpaying, way overpaying for this stupid thing. I finally have it in my possession. I'm super excited about this. And today I wanna to show off Arknoid DS and I'm gonna talk about the other games that are compatible with this thing. So what is this? This is a controller that was only released in Japan, never made it to America. And what happens is, is you plug this bad boy into slot two of the Nintendo DS or Nintendo DS Lite and now you have paddle controls. So instead of simply using the D-pad and the buttons or even the touch screen to go back and forth, you can now use your paddle controller to control your paddle in Arknoid, which we're gonna go over in just one second. So before we do that, let's just take a closer look at this thing. And you can see there's four screws on the bottom. Very simply just says, this is the paddle controller. That's it. There is nothing else to this. There's no button on this. This does not click or anything like that. And it has somewhat of a, of a bigger profile. And when this thing gets plugged in, you'll see if I can plug it in the right way, that the profile sticks out a little bit. And when I was first, when I first got this, I thought, man, this is this is kind of kind of getting the way. But I actually like it. You kind of get used to it because you want this little bit of space because you don't really want your hand interfering with the screen and getting in the way. So, but uh, let's go over the game. So this is the game. This is the Japanese version. And then the back of the box, specifically there it is, the paddle controller. Okay, you can go to that website. I don't know if it's still live. It used Nintendo Wi-Fi. Man, rest in peace, Nintendo Wi-Fi. And here is the game cartridge. If you have the American version, it looks almost identical. And the American version will still work with this controller, even though it doesn't say anything in the in instruction manual in the American version. This is the Japanese instructions. I do not read Japanese, so I can't read anything here. But you don't really need to know Japanese because the game is still mostly in English. And besides, it's just Arkanoid. You're just moving the ball back and forth. So... That's it here. It also comes with the Wi-Fi instructions. And man, remember Club Nintendo? So here's the Japanese Club Nintendo coin or card if you've never, you get coins if you've never seen one of these before. So that's kind of cool that it's uh, the version that I got here also includes that. So without further ado, I have this thing already plugged in here. I'm going to plug in the game. And let's turn this on and play a little bit of the Japanese version of Arkanoid DS. So right off the bat, what I do before we get started is I want to see, show you here, DS option pack inserted, and then you got Arknoid ready to go. Okay. So you can't click on it because it knows that this thing is in there. So just like a Guitar Hero controller or in, uh, the DS rumble pack, it will say that there is the DS option pack inserted and let's get started. I think this is saying, hey, there's an option pad, or the uh, pedal controller is connected. So this game, you can use the D-pad, and then you can even use the touch screen to slide the panel back and forth. So let's just, obviously, we're going to just be playing one player here. I think in the options, you can select if you want to actually turn this off, even if it's plugged in. But again, I don't know Japanese. We don't need to go through that. Yeah, you get the point. And one player game. And let's just play a quest game. Turn this down just a little bit. And I beat zone A, so let's go to zone B. All right, let's use the paddle controller. Oh, maybe I can't. I got to beat this. Okay, there we go. Okay, so I got to beat this level first. Let's see if I can get all this in the same shot. And you can hit down to on the D-pad to launch the ball. And 
man, this thing, it's so smooth. It's an infinite scrolling wheel. So you can just constantly spin it to one side and it'll just keep scrolling that way. It's very accurate. Oh man, it feels so good. And you can just see, I got the sticky ball. I guess I have to beat this in 10 seconds or something. And let's see if I can do it. And so Arkanoid, if you've never played it, is simply just one man Pong. And you have to, yeah, see I did not beat it in time. But feels so good, feels right. And then you can even select here. I'll go back to zone the first level. So you don't have to use the D-pad, you can still use the paddle controller even in the menu. And again, down to launch the ball. So I'm just using one finger here, but if you want, you can use the finger and the thumb. Clear. So besides Arknoid, you can also play Space Busta Move and both Space Invader Extreme Games. I want to play a clear game, see what this is, just so you can get a different... Yeah, see there's the paddle controller right up here, and I guess three lives and normal difficulty, sure, why not? Oh, here you go, you get a story. We're going to bypass that because we don't know Japanese, we don't need to... We want to talk about the paddle controller. So this is a pink one, and this is a metallic. My DS is metallic rose, I think they called this, versus just like straight pink or neon pink or something. I forget what they called this specific pink color. So it's not quite the same pink, but it was the closest DS that I had. I thought matches most best for this video, but they also released the paddle controller in multiple colors, including white, I think there was a black one, obviously this pink one. I think there was maybe like five controllers, maybe it was blue. Not exactly sure, but these things are very hard to find these days. I've been watching this on eBay for, I mean, I can't even tell you how many months. And then finally one popped up and I said, I gotta win this bid. Paid way too much for it, but I've wanted this stupid thing for a long time. Is it ridiculous? Absolutely. Is it necessary? Of course not. But is it awesome? <laughs> yeah, this thing is pretty sweet. One of the coolest ga uh, ga well, ga GBA slot, but DS accessories. Maybe even one of the coolest just handheld accessories of all time. I don't know. You can be the judge, but it plays really well, this smooth. Like, I can see that or hear that. It's just like it's like a there's a slight bit of weight to it. Mine's a little dirty, but oh, All right. So it just feels right, and I'm planning on playing the other Space Invader games as well as Space Bust a Move with the paddle controller. So keep your eye out for those videos. I'm not going to cover them here. So I just want to talk about the paddle controller and Arknoid. And again, if you have the American version of Arknoid, oh, it'll st the paddle controller will still work. Same goes for the Space Invader games and the U.S. version of Space Busta Move. So if you have those games, which are very easy to find, they're not expensive, you could pick them up. It's just getting this dumb thing these days is very expensive and hard to find. It's it doesn't even really pop up on eBay. So if you see one of these out in the wild, recommend you check it out, pick it up. Even though there's only four games, I should say four officially released games that are compatible with the paddle controller. You can play, there's a hack or I should say a cheat specifically of Mario Kart DS that lets you use this to control your cart as like a steering wheel which is pretty cool. I have not tried that myself, and I don't think it's a hack. I think it's actually, you gotta use Action Replay or something, and there's a code that somehow unlocks the slot two feature, 
that you can control your mark. I don't know how that how well that would work. You might not be able to like power slide or use your items or something because reaching the L button and the face buttons and the R button is going to be pretty tough while using the paddle controller. But it's an option. It's out there. Still cool. I don't know of any other games. If you know of any other games that use the paddle controller outside of the four Taito games and then the hack for Mario Kart. Let me know in the comments below because I really want to check it out. I got this paddle thing. I want to make the most of it and play as many games as I can. This is always the problem with these kind of Brickles bust out, bust a move uh, uh, games, you know, single player Pong games is hitting those last bricks or the last brick can be a pain. All right, there we go. So there you go. This is the paddle controller. Really enjoy this thing. Very rare. I mean, today in 2000, you know, 21, it's kind of rare. But when this thing first came out, I think it was only 20 bucks. And then they even sold it as a bundle with Arknoid. So they, this is just the, the single game, you know, loose by itself, but it came in a big box that was thick because it came bundled with this. So there it is, the Taito paddle controller with Arknoid. Pretty cool. I'm going to play the other games, like I said. Keep your eye out for those videos. And you can follow me on Twitter at Zach Gaz, Z-A-C-K-G-A-Z. If you like other weird handheld stuff, I've covered all the Game Boy Color Rumble Pack videos. You can check that out also on my channel here. And until next time, thank you for watching and game on.